Hey, the last one. You better get another pack. Okay. Thank you. You probably think that we're making a big fuss of our cigarettes. <laughs> well, sure. November is COPD Awareness Month, also known as Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease. And here on WFCT News, I want to share information about COPD in an effort to raise awareness and honor the doctors, patients, and researchers who are fighting against this catastrophic illness. COPD is a very serious lung disease that over time makes it very difficult to nearly impossible to breathe. Also known as emphysema and chronic bronchitis, the disease develops slowly and worsens over time, causing many to dismiss symptoms and delay seeking treatment until COPD is in its very late stages. COPD affects over 24 million Americans and is now the third leading cause of death in the United States. But how exactly does COPD affect the lungs? The airways are the tubes that carry air in and out of the lungs through the nose and mouth. Healthy airways and air sacs in the lungs are elastic. They try to bounce back to their original shape after being stretched or filled with air, just like the way a new rubber band or balloon does. This elastic quality helps retain the normal structure of the lung and helps to move the air quickly in and out. In people with COPD, the air sacs no longer bounce back to their original shape. The airways can also become swollen or thicker than normal, and mucus production might increase. The floppy airways are blocked or obstructed, making it even harder to get air out of the lungs. Symptoms of COPD include shortness of breath, chronic coughing or wheezing, producing excessive amounts of mucus, or feeling unable to take a deep breath. If you would like more information on COPD or COPD Awareness Month, visit www.copdfoundation.org. And I urge you to please share this information with your friends, colleagues, loved ones, anyone who could be at risk for COPD, especially if they're a smoker or former smoker, because nothing matters when you can't breathe. I'm Teresa, WFCT News in Connecticut.